Good day, good afternoon, good evening everyone, this is Viperas for Viperland, and today I'm going to be showing how to solo the Spine of Deathwing in uh, Dragon Soul. This is patch 6.0 pre-Warlords uh, of Draenor, so if you're watching this after Warlords of Draenor, Draenor launches, uh, the levels will be higher, but since this is a mechanical fight, since this fight is based on mechanics, not on item levels or how much damage you can do, this video will still remain relevant. I turned down the volume for this because uh, this fight tends to send uh, deadly boss mods a little crazy. So, you want to kill off three of the four tendrils, and then stand in the grasping tendrils, which is basically the corpse of one of the ones you killed. You don't want to kill the last one yet, but if you do, it's also not the end of the world. You want to stand here until you notice they fly away. Deathwing rolls, and everything that's not grasping tendrils pretty much instantly dies which is good, as long as you have Grasping Tendrils. Then, you want to stand near the center of the back and go back and forth like this. Since there is no technical, like, exact middle, you have to keep going left to right, otherwise he will roll, instantly killing you no matter what else you do. If you're a ranged class and you want to do this, the simple solution is to stand in those Grasping Tendrils pretty much permanently until you kill nine of these uh, Corrupted Bloods. That's a viable op uh, strategy. It's probably something I should do, but I like the whole moving around aspect. That's just me. So you want to kill nine of these. If you're melee and you're bouncing around, you don't really have to be as exact. If you're ranged, it probably matters a bit more. But I'm going to kill as many as I can. I'd also like to point out that you have to repeat this process three times, but the first time goes the slowest because these bloods only pop out of the holes where the corrupted tendrils were, uh, and as the fight goes on there'll be more holes for blood to pop out of. So this is actually the slowest part of it. It's going to spam your chat. You could probably turn off deadly boss mods for this. I keep it on in case I am getting a little too uh, cozy on one side and don't notice it. Uh, Alright, I think it's about time. So, no, I don't want to get secured. So, once you've killed nine bloods, or thereabouts, you're going to want to spawn the uh, big amalgamation dude, and bring him through these little balls that have been left on the ground. He will gain stacks of whatever the hell, uh, absorbing blood, I guess, and you want him to get nine. It's pretty much useless before nine, so get nine. I think he's got nine now. He's got nine. Okay. Head towards the side you want, which is, if you look at the map, towards the head of Deathwing, and kill him close to this wall as you can. So, there you go. He'll do a Nova Blast. It'll say, get away. There's really not too far you can go. Keep moving back and forth. That will pop up that thing. And you need to kill the Tendon. There you go. See, so tendons down. It doesn't have a lot of HP, so even if you're worried about the rolls and whatnot, you can pretty easily get it down. You need to do that two more times. If you've done it the first time, you've really done the hardest part. Now I've got a lot of little orbs to bring this guy through. And just keep making sure to either be constantly secured by the Grasping Tendrils, or to be going back and forth constantly. Tedious? Yup. But if you want a chance at those mounts, it's what you gotta do. It's just the way it works. Thankfully, it works pretty well. Things don't do a ton of damage. If you have a, the ability to uh, heart strike or whatever, uh, you're going to be able to stay pretty healed up. I'm going to pop this anyway. There you go. So he's at 9. We bring him towards this wall. Target hideous amalgamation. And once he gets low, he's going to pop. And... Tell me it didn't work. Uh, sometimes that happens. He has to be really close to that wall. So, if it doesn't work, kill a bunch of the bloods, just like you did the first time. Kill a bunch of the bloods, and then kill a single uh, corrupted tentacle, which I apparently just did by splash damage. I keep forgetting I have a splash damage thing equipped. And just repeat the process. Drag them through nine of these things. Pain in the ass? Yes. But it works. And as long as you make sure not to have Deathwing roll, unless you're, you know, secured, and you keep tagging things for a little bit of health, these guys will get their nine stacks, and this will be over. 
Alright, seven stacks. Where's the blood? Come on. I do usually do this in tank spec, but yeah, I was feeling gutsy today. Alright, so drag him through that last orb. He's got nine. Bring him close to this wall. Keep bouncing back and forth. He's gonna Nova Blast. It says get away, it doesn't matter too much. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage. And since the tendon was on the right last time, it'll be on... Oh, I had it backwards. Gotta kill the tendon before he rolls. You only have a few seconds to kill it, but it is definitely enough time. If it doesn't work, if you absolutely cannot kill it in time, just do the same thing and just repeat. You can, It'll keep the amount of damage you've done to it. So if you brought it to half HP the first time, then when you repeat the process, it'll be at half HP, you kill it. The entire fight in general is not timed. There is no, to the best of my knowledge, and I've done this pretty slow sometimes, there is no enrage timer, there's no fail state other than dying or having him roll. So, I know everyone wants to fly through old content, I know I did, but trying to fly through this is not really helpful. Take your time, get it done right, and it works. Come on, I want to drag him through those. But... And until he explodes, you can drag him wherever the hell you want. But once he's got nine, that's when you gotta bring him towards the front. Don't roll. Don't you dare roll. Okay. And there we go. He's gonna go down. And as soon as you kill the final tendon, this fight is over. It's immediately, you win, awesome. You get a nice cinematic. I'm going to skip the cinematic for the purposes of this video. Also, it's really loud. Okay, drops you here. Congratulations, you've done the hard part. Talk to Thrall real quick, yada yada. Take your loot, that's very important. Those look kind of cool. They'll do some talking, because everything in here is talking and taunting. And then you'll be prompted to talk to Thrall again, and he'll start the fight. Manus the Deathwing pops out here. He'll have two arms and two wings. Uh, either way, there's four platforms. You start on the second to the right. I usually go this platform, that platform, skip back to the second, and then on the last one. You can alter it. I think you can do one, two, three, four is another popular one. However you want to do it. The general point of this, yes, I'd like to start it. General point is, you DPS the appendage in front of you, in this case the arm tentacle, until you get the notice that there is a corrupted whatever the hell behind you. Can't remember the name, it'll pop up in a second. And you pretty much do that. Come on. There we go. Mutated Corruption. When Mutated Corruption spawns, stop DPS on whatever you're doing, kill the Mutated Corruption. It can stack and impale debuff on you, which makes the damage go up double uh, by quite a lot. If you keep those Corruptions down, there's really not much to worry about in this fight. Once you kill one, if you go to the edge of your platform, just walk off, you go to the other side. Very, Except sometimes it bugs out. If that happens, try it slightly further to the top or bottom of that platform. I've yet to find the perfect sweet spot. This doesn't happen all the time. It happens sometimes and I don't really know how to stop it. There you go. I've had wipes because of that and I've yet to find out how to actually stop the damn thing. Mutated corruption over there. So there's not much I can do about it right now. I could go over there actually. But I'm going to try and finish this first because it shouldn't take too much longer. But if you notice those mutated corruptions come out of the platform you're not on, simple enough. That should be your next target platform. I was going to do the uh, second from the end, but now it looks like we're going to do the one on the end. Not too difficult. So we bounce all the way across. And take out this son of a gun. I believe the fight ends once you kill the four... Uh, arm tentacles and wing tentacles, but uh, I always kill the corruption anyway. And now we got one there, so that's my next platform either way. I'm going to let it live for that little bit of time, thinking that it's probably not going to kill me. If you have a lower item level, or are less tanky, or healy, whatever, 
Uh, I would definitely prioritize the Mutated Corruptions. Their Impale debuff is the thing that's going to do the most damage to you, so it should take top priority. If you're not too worried about it at all, just kind of do whatever. Or do as I'm doing and not necessarily prioritize them over anything, but get them killed. And this should be the last of the arm and wing tentacles. La di da, it's gonna go down. You can AoE these guys, but I don't really have too much AoE, so I'm just kinda leaving them be. And you'll notice there's a mutated corruption way over there, so I guess we will see if the fight ends as soon as. Okay, it doesn't end, but it goes to phase two. I'm gonna leave that thing alive, because I've got the gift of the Naru, and I don't really care. So Deathwing's actual head comes down, which is huge, and that's why you kind of want to end on one of these platforms if you can. You just DPS it down. It goes really fast. It does not have a lot of health. So you just kind of use whatever you got. Deathwing is dead. That's it. Mutated Corruption goes away, and you pray that you've got your mount drop from the loot here. I don't know why it's not lootable yet. I guess we got to wait for this. Come on, kill Deathwing so I can loot his chin, or his heart, or whatever the hell it is. This piece of him. And, there you go. You get a, uh, not a bad transmog axe. Pretty cool mace. And another movie. I'm going to skip it again. So, that is soloing all of Dragon Soul, 10-man, non-heroic, in... 6.0. Thank you for watching. This has been Viper S, and tune in next time for more uh, solo videos.